Hey everybody, it's Mike from MJF Invest. Um, today we'll be talking a little bit about um, what a rare earth mi uh, minerals mine and an online real estate platform uh, have in common. Um, today we're going to be talking about MP Materials, ticker symbol FVAC, and Open Door. Um, ticker symbol IPOB. Uh, what these two companies have in common is um, a guy by the name of Shamant Palapatia. Now, if you don't know who Shamant is, um, you definitely should. Uh, Shamant it was on the original board of Facebook. Um, he's a board member of Slack. Also, the Virgin Galactic Holdings uh, merger he was, he was a wheelman on. Also, um, Slack. Oh, he or bit, he was early uh, early on in Bitcoin. He, he he's very um he's he's essentially the Warren Buffett of the tech world and tech investing. Uh, so when when Shaman does something, I certainly pay attention. And if you watch this channel, you'll definitely see that I I I certainly factor in the uh, the executives or the inside buyers uh, or institutional shareholders it is um. Is certainly high up on my list, uh, my criteria list, when I'm looking for for certain companies. Um, I, I I definitely look at institutional buyers and who the CEOs are. I feel like I want to put my money with the best players. Uh, you know, with the you know over time, I I believe the the cream rises to the top. Um, and and Shamont's definitely. Definitely somebody that that, uh, that that you should keep an eye on. Uh, he had a great, he had a big week. Um, <clears throat> also, um, on top of the the open door merger, he also announced following IPO um, IPOs that are coming out, which is IPO D, E, and F. They'll also be in the future. And currently, IPO B and IPO C are are, are trading. Uh, IPO B has open door, is merging with open door. The others have no company attached yet, so I, I'll certainly uh, be maybe taking small positions in those companies beforehand, before I even know um, who they're merging with. Um, with the you know, because I feel that that strongly that Shamat will will um, will add will merge great companies to those, you know, and that would make me an early investor. You know, I don't know if that's something that you guys would like to do, but. Um, I believe in that guy that much. I wouldn't recommend doing that all the time or, or with any other companies, but with social capital, uh, I definitely do um, think that, that that's the way to go. Um, <clears throat> now, speaking of institutional investors um, with Open Door, well, what Open Door is, is it's an online uh, platform. It's an online real estate platform where you can buy and sell your, your home. It is extremely um, um, relative and, and significant at this point in time, I, I feel like. Um, a lot of people are going digital and you can sell your home on open door in as little as three days. They handle everything for you. You, um, you, you, you get an offer, you, you decide if you're gonna accept the offer and um, they send the notary to your house. Um, you know, it's, it's basically, you know, you could sell your house again in as little as three days without it ever hitting market. Uh, some of the, um, I, I looked in some of the reviews and the reviews were a little bit mixed. Uh, um, but, but it seemed like a lot of the bad reviews were coming from people in the housing markets, like mortgage people, uh, real estate people. And I think that may be because they're a little bit afraid that going forward, you know, they become they become obsolete. Uh, they're they're not needed on this platform. Um, there's three there, and there's three main things that really really um, uh, trends that I that I think really make this company relevant and significant. And that's um, the uh, the coronavirus. Obviously, people really want to go digital. They don't want to be. Um, you know, we see everything that can and can be sold online and purchased online has been purchased online now. Uh, so, except for homes, uh, homes is still being relatively sold the same way that they've always been. <clears throat> so, I look for people to go more digital on that. 
Also too, the Fed just, just announced that they're gonna keep interest rates low, close to zero, at least till 2023. So that, 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 um, that will keep the housing market going in, in a positive direction. And also the millennials, the millennials have been, who have grown up doing everything online um, are, are, are at the age now, they're ready to become homeowners. Um, so so the, I look for those people. Um, the housing market in the United States is a $1.6 trillion industry and it's completely undisrupted at the moment. And, uh, and I think that's why Open Door um, is going to be such a significant uh, player. Uh, keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. I advise, I suggest that you do all your own research. Don't just take my word for it. Uh, but this is my findings. I, I think this is a, a big company with a with a with a great um, great guy leading the way. Um, so I, I'm invested in IPOB, um, which will change to Open Door. Uh, the other company I wanted to touch on was um, FVAC. FVAC is the ticker symbol, and the company that they're merging with is MP Materials. MP Materials is uh, a, a mining company, a rare earth uh, mining facility uh, in California. Uh, they just purchased a mine called Mountain Pass uh, from, uh, they bought it out of bankruptcy from, uh, from a place called, from a company called Molly Corp, uh, if you look into it. The uh, Shamat also uh, pipe invested $200 million into this company. What a pipe investment is, is it's uh, public, or I'm sorry, private, oh, it's a public investment with private equities. So he, so he, he's invested $200 million into uh, FVAC, F-V-A-C, um, MP Materials again. So Shamat's also invested in this. Um, now, if you think that <clears throat> the way we go um, now, most of our, like 80% of our, of our rare earth materials come from China. Even right now, as it sits, MP material, whatever they extract from the ground, they still have to send to China for, you know, for, for the minerals to be put into product. Like some of the products um, that are made from these minerals are, you know, magnets, wind turbines, um, you know, defense weapons, uh, lots of stuff, the, 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 the stuff for, that makes cell phones. And, um, and if you believe in the electric vehicle, a revolution if you believe that's the way this is going to be bringing that supply chain back to the united states to be able to to make magnets ourselves is which mp material is trying to do they're trying to become you know bring that supply back to the united states then then they they're a very relevant company um the ceo of of uh, mp materials is a guy named james latinsky uh, i've watched a few interviews with him he he's a very sharp guy um, you know, his vision was to bring, bring jobs back to the United States. And, and that's really, really something that, that I find interesting and fascinating and see a lot of money, um, for us to be made, for us to make early on, you know, in the future going forward, the, these companies are, are, are going to be relevant. And I, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I, I, I think that you guys should look into it yourselves, but those are definitely two companies that. I will be, um, I will be looking out for. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, uh, leave a comment if you can. I'm really trying to grow the channel. I appreciate uh, appreciate you watching. Um, I'm going to add links for um, free free stocks on Robinhood and Weeble, uh, meaning you'll get a free uh, free stock and I'll get a free stock for the referral. I'll put links in the description. Um, again, thanks for watching.